This is Oklahoma Zone News 9. A proposed bill could make it easier for parents to control what books are in school libraries. News 9's Feliz Romero spoke to a lawmaker and a local health group about how the bill could affect students. She's live at the state capitol with their perspectives. Feliz. The legislation would prohibit school libraries from carrying books on gender identity and sexual education. While the senator who proposed the bill says this is how you keep children safe, others disagree. Books about coming out, preferred pronouns, and gender identity are currently available in school libraries. ABCs of LGBT, Trans Teen Survival Guide are promoted in the public school libraries. If Senate Bill 1142 passes, those books would be banned. Laura Lang, CEO of Thrive OKC, worries not having this information can do more harm than good. Having safe, affirming adults in their lives and peers in their lives can actually reduce suicide rates among 2S LC. LGBTQ plus students. Parents would be able to request a school to remove the books in question. The school then has 30 days. If the books aren't removed, the parents could sue. At Barnes and Noble, there's a section dedicated to these sexual lifestyles. And so, but that's in another part of the library, in front of the bookstore. If we limit the information that's available to them in this setting, then we know that teens will just turn to peers or the internet where porn and predators are rampant um, for answers to the, their questions. Lang says many times parents go to Thrive, a group that educates teens on sexual well being to learn and support their child. Questions about one's identity, these are not trends that someone is going to reverse by simply keeping information away from people. I mean, if a parent wants to get that kind of book for their child, make it available or enroll them in a class at the school where they know those types of books are being used. This measure will be considered in the next legislative session. Reporting live at the Capitol, Feliz Romero, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.